I've been wanting to film this video for forever and I'm finally getting around to it and today I am going to be trying on a size 16 jeans from five different brands. I've seen YouTubers do these types of videos and I've had requests to do these types of videos for years now, ever since I started my trying on different sizes series. Which by the way, for those of you that are new, I used to go into fitting rooms and try on all of the sizes of all of the jeans. There's a playlist for it that I'll link in the description box below. But since COVID is still unfortunately a thing, um, we have to refrain from that for the time being. So I thought that I would try to do a sort of like similar twist on that. A lot of the jeans that I'm gonna be trying on in today's video were purchased online. Most of them, actually 99% of them were purchased online. It's just what I feel safest doing right now. I particularly remember a video that the Lucy Wood did. It was incredible. I'll link that down below as well. But today I'm gonna be trying on a size 16 pair of jeans from Madewell, American Eagle, Good American, Wild Fable, and a thrifted pair from Lee Jeans. It's so interesting that different brands have different ideas of what a size should be And I really want to drive home for this video the fact that there is absolutely nothing wrong with your body If you don't fit into a certain number written inside of a tag of a pair of jeans It has everything to do with the jeans and nothing to do with you So I just want to make sure that you really hold on to that also size doesn't mean shit I have jeans in my closet that are size 14 I have jeans in my closet that are size 18 and they fit exactly the same. So please keep in mind that this is just for an experimental purpose. This has nothing to do with like being set on being a certain size. I don't care what the number is as long as they look cute. Your weight and your size is the least interesting thing about you. So please keep that in mind when watching this video. Also just want to give a big thank you to the sponsor of today's video, which is ShopTagger. I have used ShopTagger and talked about them in my channel for years now. Shopping online is something that I feel like a lot of us are doing at the moment. And with Black Black Friday and Cyber Monday coming up, I thought that this would be a great time to mention it. And if you aren't familiar, ShopTagger is an app that helps you save money and time when you're shopping online. So basically all you have to do is download the ShopTagger little browser button on the Google Chrome store. Once you download that, you browse your favorite websites and when you see an item you like, you can click the button or slider to save that item to lists. You can organize your different lists by different categories, etc. And then once one of those items saved to your list either comes back in stock, goes on sale, you can get notifications via email or mobile push notifications and then you can know when it's time to buy that item. It helps save a lot of money. Here I have like a fall inspiration wish list which I always love doing for this time of year. Also if you're using it on your computer it scans the web for coupon codes to apply at checkout which like it does all of the work for you. ShopTacker also just launched a new cashback feature so you can get cash back if you use PayPal from select retail partners. So don't forget to check the link in the description box below to download ShopTacker and if you want to save the most money possible, I would definitely recommend downloading it to your phone and your desktop. But yeah, check it out. I love it. I've talked about it for years. And without further ado, let's try on five different pairs of jeans from five different brands and see what they consider a size 16 to be. All right, starting off with a tried and true favorite. We have the Wild Fable High Waisted. I believe these are called the Straight Leg Ankle Jean. I'll have all of the available jeans linked in the description box below, but these are in a 16 regular. These jeans fit me pretty well. I will say that Wild Fable in general runs a little bit small, so I typically size up when I'm wearing their jeans, especially if it's like a mom jean or a jean with like a little bit less stretch to it. These do have a tiny bit, but nothing crazy, so we're gonna be the judge of this. I think I'm gonna just try these on like as we go so we can get my full experience on camera just like we used to do back in the fitting room days. Do you all remember that? So for the sake of old times, all right, pants are off. I am wearing like a bloomer over my underwear so like it's whatever who cares okay here we go let's try these on I mean I know what they feel like but I feel like this is a really good starting point because we can kind of get a baseline of what we're looking for here so okay these go on pretty well I would say slide on nicely fairly high-waisted I would say so here we go zip these babies up and here you have it like a pretty good decent pair of jeans honestly they do feel the slightest bit snug kind of in the midsection area but that will obviously like go away within 20 minutes of wearing them. I washed and dried these so it does take a few minutes afterwards to be able to get comfortable with them again. But here is an overall look at them. Honestly in Wild Fable jeans I probably could size up to an 18 and be totally fine just as a size reference but also when I say things like that it means not because I'm trying to be bigger 
or trying to be smaller. I get quite a few comments like that. It's for a reference point. So for me, I'm a size 14, 16. These jeans are 16, but I could also probably wear an 18 if I wanted a bit of a looser fit. So that's just something to keep in mind. I do get some questions that are like, don't be afraid of like, why do you feel like you need to explain if you're sizing up or sizing down? And I, I'm not, I'm just, I'm using this as a resource for you as well. I feel like that's pretty obvious to most people who watch my videos. But anyways, in case you were curious, I could also size up to an 18 in these and I would be just as happy. I feel like there's a bit of like overhang from my stomach and that's not necessarily necessarily just because these are tight. I think it's also just because that's the way my body is right now, which is totally chill. But yeah, here we have them. Size 16 Wild Fable. Not too tight, not too loose. They make my butt look kind of cute. I mean, they flatten your butt a little bit. That's just what mom jeans do, but like, I don't have a butt either way, so it doesn't matter. So I think we are off to a pretty good start. Let's move on to the next pair though, because I already know how this is gonna go. Next up, we have this pair of Good American Jeans. I've talked about this quite a few times on my channel before, but I'll I'll give the short version in case you've never heard. I tried on a pair of good American jeans, probably like 20, early 2019. I loved them. I washed them one time. They shrunk like three sizes. Then I went and ordered the size above it. So the next size up, washed them one time and the same exact thing happened. I'm very confused by the fabric they use. And I did get a lot of comments when that first happened, when I first shrunk my first pair and they were like, you're not supposed to wash and dry them. And I didn't, I actually just put them through the washer. So I don't like you, you need to be able to wash your jeans. So I'm just very confused. I tried this pair on recently in a high-waisted jeans measuring contest video that I did on my channel. I'll link it down below if you want to see it. Okay, size 16, good Americans. Ooh, they're already so tight on the calf. Ah, this is hilarious. Okay, working their way up. This one is definitely a workout. Oh my god, like this is as far up as I can go before I have to really start. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna need to start from the bottom here. Like, they're not supposed to be that short, but I have to pull them like above my ankle. <laughs> I did not miss this part about filming videos. Oh my God. I mean, so before I even zip, like you can see what's up, right? Like this is just not my right size. Oh my God, I'm so scared I'm gonna zip my stomach. Has anyone actually ever done that by the way? Because that is my biggest fear. Oh, all right, so. I need a moment to catch my breath. I actually need some water. So here we have the Good American Good Legs skinny jeans. And here's the thing, they look good. Like they don't look bad, but they're just so unbelievably tight. It's very uncomfortable. As you can see, they're just so tight around my waist. They're really constricting. I don't personally like the look of my jeans looking like they were painted on. <laughs> I like the fact that they look like fabric. And these are just, they're so tight that it's like, it's like I'm not even wearing jeans. It's literally just like I painted my legs and I want it to look like I have pants on. So it, yeah, it's a bummer because these are cute as hell. Like they're probably one of the cutest pairs of jeans I've ever tried on, but they are so tight, especially in the midsection. They keep wanting to ride down. Like if I just let them, if I moved around a lot, they would basically go down to like this point. And this is just not what I'm looking for in a pair of jeans at all. It just doesn't make me feel great. So I don't know. I'm just so confused because I would consider like if I were to put on a pair of skinny jeans, I would consider these more like a 12, even though they're really stretchy. Um, they definitely have shrunken down to more like a size 12 because it's just clear that they're not my size. So yeah, they may look great, but it's, I'm just so confused. If you all have experience with Good American, please let me know in the comments below because I have tried and struck out twice and I don't really know what else to do. I'm going to have to relist these for someone who's more like a size 12, but I'm super bummed because this is apparently what they consider to be a size 16. Very odd fit. I don't really love it. I'm not going to lie. Every time I put these back on, I'm just like, what am I doing to myself? Like this is traumatizing. And more than anything, like more than the looks or the aesthetic, I just want to feel comfortable. Like I just want to feel comfy in my jeans. And for me personally, the way that I like to wear jeans, I'm not trying to tell you how to wear your jeans, but I like to just be able to pull on my jeans and like shoop, zip them right up. Like it shouldn't have to be an Olympic event. You know what I mean? And it just was, and I'm sweating and I don't like it. I think it's really rude. So let's move on. I'm going to try to keep this next part short and sweet because these jeans are quite literally cutting into my my essential organs. So this is a pair of jeans from American Eagle. I've talked about them so many times on my channel recently. I've shown them on Instagram. They're my tried and true favorites. These are the American Eagle mom jeans. They are so distressed. They are so perfect. They have kind of like a wider calf. So they're a little bit more like a boyfriend style mom 
denim jean and I love them. They actually have zero stretch to them whatsoever, but I'm obsessed. I don't know what it is. These are probably the jeans that I would say look the best on me. Um, and I've worn these in, like I said, a lot of videos recently, but I'm trying to use the jeans that I have for this video before I just go willy nilly and order a bunch of new ones. When I first ordered these from American Eagle, because typically in American Eagle, I'm a size 14 in their skinny jeans. So when I ordered these mom jeans in a size 14, I actually had to return them and size up to a 16. So I do usually always size up to at least one, sometimes two sizes in American Eagle mom jeans. I have heard that they make stretchy versions of these jeans now. So maybe let me know if you want to see a video on that. But in the meantime, these are the ones I have. So, okay, we got to take these babies off because this is like really painful. Oh my God. My thighs are like letting out a sigh of relief after taking these off. Goodbye. So, okay, here we go. Size 16, American Eagle. Let's like put these on so we can get an idea of what I feel a pair of jeans should look like when they go on your body. Are we ready? Little bit of wiggle right here. Pull them up, you zip them, and done. <sighs> so much better. It's interesting though, even just comparing these to the other pairs that I just tried on, like the Wild Fable pair, for example, like they were tight in the midsection, but these are much tighter in the midsection. So that's something that I didn't really notice until I put them on sort of back to back. I think because these jeans have absolutely no give to them whatsoever, they are just like a rigid denim, straight up mom jean. The holes in the knees do give me like a little bit more mobility. Like I'm able to like move my knees like this, which in most pairs of jeans I'm not, let's be honest. And full disclosure, these little rips right here in the front actually were all connected at some point on both sides of these jeans. But because of the fact that thick thighs save lives or thick knees, I guess you could say, they have all been set free. So it's actually like a little bit cuter of a look in my opinion. I like it a lot better. But these are significantly tighter than the 16s from Wild Fable, which again, it's just so bizarre to me that different brands have such different fits when it comes to sizing because it should just be that like a size 16 is blank size and a size 14 is blank size and a size 24 is blank size. Like it should just be universal. Like I don't understand why it's so different from brand to brand. One brand is like, mm, this is what we consider to be this size and another brand's like, actually, this is what we consider. It, like, it's, there's no consistency. It's very bizarre, but they're still comfortable enough to wear. And I would say that these are my right size, but I do also wear a size 14 in like the stretchy jeans at American Eagle. And then I could probably also size up to an 18 if I wanted more of a baggy fit. So again, size doesn't mean anything. It is not your body that is the problem it is the clothes so if it doesn't fit size up or size down and then that's it end of story okay this next pair was actually sort of what inspired me to do this video today because i thrifted this pair of lee jeans they're a vintage kind of like western style mom jean i guess you could say i got these from a savers i believe here in phoenix probably i want to say like january or february of this year and these jeans according to the tag when i was thrifting for them say 16 medium so I think that must mean medium length. These were really affordable when I thrifted them. So I was like, sweet size 16, this is perfect. Like, especially because vintage jeans like this run super small. So I was like, a size 16 will be perfect. Let me try them on. And I'm just honestly going to try them on before I preface them by saying anything. So let's just, let's just uh, explore this together. Size 16 medium, keep that in mind. So it's like when you put them on, it's like, oh yes. Feels great, feels great in the legs, feels amazing, pulls up perfectly, like leg fit, amazing. But super cute, snatch. Then it comes to the waist. Um, <laughs> there is absolutely no way. No, I can't do it, nope. No, 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 I have just rearranged my organs. There's absolutely no way that these would ever fit. So I don't, I'm so confused. Like I was so devastated. When I first tried them on, I was like, wait, I. Like I was just trying it anyway. I tried laying down, I tried doing everything. There's just no way. I need like an extra two inches at least, maybe more. And it's so bizarre because they fit perfectly on the rest of my body. So I'm so confused. I'm super gutted that these don't work because they are the cutest pair of jeans ever, but it just goes to show that a size 16 is so different across so many brands. We've had pairs that are like cutting my circulation off a little bit. We've had pairs that are like a little tight, but still wearable. We've had pairs that are like pretty much perfect. And now we've had pairs that like, just you couldn't even dream of buttoning them. So it's just <laughs> going to further prove my point 
point. And hopefully I don't sound like a broken record, but I just want to remind you that it's no big deal if something that you think is your size doesn't fit you. If you gotta size down one or if you have to size up three, it makes absolutely no difference and has no weight on you and who you are as a person. So just wanna keep that in mind. This is no big deal. I'm sad that they don't fit because they're a cute ass pair of jeans, but that just means that there's a better pair for me out there. And last but not least, I actually thought I would try a pair of jeans on on camera that I just recently purchased because this is a pair of mom jeans from Madewell. It's called the mom jean. It's in the color Melva and it's my favorite mom jean of all time. It's like that perfect 90s supermodel mom jean, but Madewell makes them in more extended sizing and Madewell has kind of like cut back on their mom jean circulation recently and I don't know if they're like slowly phasing them out or what's going on with that. So I decided to pick up this pair in a size above the pair that I normally wear. It's like my tried and true favorite pair, but they are getting a little snug and there's absolutely no stretch to them. So I sized up to a size 16. These are a size 33, which is equivalent to a size 16. And I'm so excited to try these because the last pair were my favorite pair of jeans hands down, but they're a little snug now. So I sized up and I thought since these are 16, we can end the video off with these because they're gonna be perfect. I'm so excited. Also full disclosure, my stomach is absolutely in so much pain right now because I just tried so hard to make those jeans close. For the future, if a pair of jeans doesn't fit, just move on to the next pair because I'm, I'm literally in pain. Like this is not fun. Okay, so let's end this on a good note. They're sliding on really nicely. Okay, oh, wait a second. Wait. What? In case you're ever wondering in my videos why I turn this way, it's because my mirror is right there. I think these might be too big. Did you see how easy that zipper went up? Wait a second, I'm confused. If you can't tell, there's like a ton of space back here, which is something that happens. Like a lot of times people either get like a curvy size jean so that it's kind of like a little more snatched at the waist so you don't have that. But I don't, I don't have this much like ever, especially in like a non-stretchy pair of jeans. And just like, I can tell even just in the front here with like how much extra fabric, especially in the crotch area. After I wear these jeans for about 15 minutes they're gonna be like baggy and I don't want that I want them to be that like cute form-fitting mom jean style so I'm so confused because <laughs> this pair is too big like clearly you can tell but also the size down is too small what is going on but that is why I made this video I wanted to make it clear that sometimes you can try on a 16 and it'll be too big other times you can try on a 16 it won't even button or it cuts off your circulation or it fits just right I do think that the fashion industry has a long way to go as far as like just in general, like ethical practices, so on and so forth. But with sizing especially, it's just so confusing that I can wear a pair of jeans that's so loose and then try on the same exact size and it's either slicing me in half or won't even button. You know what I mean? It's just really wild. There's a lot to think about. I'm obviously gonna have to exchange these or just return them because it's clear that I don't have a size. And that's why I like making these videos because I want you to feel less alone. I know that this is a struggle that a lot of us deal with when we're jeans shopping or just shopping for clothing in general. So please, I'm begging of you, like keep my annoying broken record voice in the back of your head as a guide when you are trying on things because it has nothing to do with you. You are absolutely perfect and flawless and pop in the way you are. And please don't let something as stupid as a number written inside a pair of jeans dictate you and the way you view yourself. Like absolutely not. <laughs> we do not do that in this house. We have had such a wide variety of results today and that's exactly why I wanted to make this video I have I have a lot of decompressing to do after this there's just so much to think about I think I definitely definitely need to do a part two so I hope you all enjoyed this video if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already you can also turn on my post notifications if you want to be notified every time I post a new video links to all of these jeans in case you're interested in any of them or the ones that I can find online I will have in the description box below in case you want to check them out I'm curious to know your thoughts and if there are any other jeans that you want me to try for future Future videos. Maybe I can make this a series. Maybe I can do a part two pretty soon. Let me know. I love you all so, so much. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.